In this video, we're going to take a look at the Spectrum Analyzer module. If you've watched any of the other videos, you'll see that I've been using this module to help me tune in and identify particular frequencies. So what I've done here is I've placed the cursor and at the point I've placed the cursor, the Spectrum Analyzer window produces a blue trace. It's a particular sample at that absolute moment. So here I can hover over a peak and RX is telling me exactly what frequency it is. It's even giving me information about the note. So if this was a music piece, it would tell me what the note was. And also it's telling me the overall level. So in the case of the bell here, I can very quickly identify the fundamental and the other harmonics that the bell is producing. So that's for a particular point in time on the timeline. If I now use the time and frequency selection and highlight over a section, you can see now that the Spectrum Analyzer is analyzing just that selection. So it's zoomed in automatically on the waveform and is just showing me that part of the spectrum. And when we have a selection like this, the Spectrum Analyzer changes its trace color to yellow. So we know this represents a selection. And again, we can do exactly the same thing with the frequencies of the peaks, but it does allow us to be a lot more targeted at what we need to look for. And then finally, we can simply play the audio. And once we play the audio, we'll get a purple trace for the playback. So I'm here at a bike rack, and this is going to demonstrate the attenuated example whereby we can get rid of unwanted sudden sounds, such as that of the bike bell. So you can see there we've got a range of different frequencies. Now that I've hit stop, it's come back and it's now analysing exactly where the cursor is. So I move the cursor, put the cursor anywhere, and then we get the blue trace, which gives us a spot analysis of exactly what's going on at that particular point. So we've got those different modes, each of which can be really useful in different settings. So talking of settings, let's take a look at how we can set up the Spectrum Analyzer window in a little bit more detail. If I right click on the X axis, currently you can see that the frequency scale is log, but we can change it to mel or linear. So all the options that we had for the frequency display mode on the normal timeline are also available to us within the Spectrum Analyzer module as well. And we can also zoom in. I'm using the mouse scroll wheel here. So I hover over the central area and now use the mouse wheel. And so it's keeping central where I am and just allowing me to zoom in. And obviously I can come right back out again. So let's take a look at the settings window. Just as we have in other places like the preferences and the denoise module, we have an FFT size. So we can adjust that accordingly. And a higher FFT size provides greater frequency resolution, but it does require a longer segment of audio to be analysed. So again, it's a matter of setting those accordingly for what you're trying to do. Channel mode controls how multiple channels of audio are handled. Obviously, relevant when you start working in 5.1, etc. How many of the channels are going to be handled? As we increase the FFT overlap, that enhances the time resolution, but it also affects the spectrum update rate during playback. And there's a CPU usage hit as well to take. So again, it's a trade-off, but the normal setting is around eight times, and that default setting should work for you most of the time. Then we have the window type, and there's a wide range of different window types with different names. This is effectively the fast Fourier transform weighting adjustments, and there are different weightings that all got very interesting names, and different ones address frequency smearing in different ways. So again, choosing which one you need. The hand one is the default, and you'll find that works really well for you. So then we've got the overall real-time averaging, and you can see here that the default is 40 dBs per second. It's working out how it does the averaging for the display. Obviously, infinite averaging, it will just, as you play through a file, it will analyze it all the way through and simply add to the display and add and add and add. With the different decay rates, what it's doing is allowing audio that has taken place in the past to decay away and not to be added to the display. 
So those are the Spectrum Analyzer settings. Again, with any module in RX, if you're not sure about how to adjust it, you've got the help guide. Click on that and it will open up the help guide in your browser. Let me close that. So that's the Spectrum Analyzer. We have the ability to analyze the audio at a particular point on the timeline where the cursor is. We can analyze a particular section of the audio but from a time and frequency point of view, or we can analyze the audio whilst we're playing back. So I'm here at a bike rack, and this is gonna demonstrate the attenuated example whereby we can get rid of unwanted... So I'll see you in the next video.